Hey, what's going on guys? Ian's Cards back here with another rip. Uh, today we got something a little bit different, not a hobby box or a blaster box. It's a super box. So I've, uh, I've never opened one of these and I thought it would be uh, definitely like interesting to do. I mean, I've seen a couple videos, but I never thought to go, uh, I never really thought to go check it out or pick it up. So, but uh, I figured why not open one for the fun of it. Uh, I'm gonna have to open it to the side though, but this is pretty large. I do have a little cut in it, so we are good to go. But hopefully this doesn't take too long to open, otherwise I will then cut the video. Alright, so the wrapping is off. Now we're opening the box. There we go. Alright, so now we got just the plastic. Sorry for the crazy noise. Let me just throw that on the floor. But we're a bit uh, disorganized, I guess, opening up this. So let's go ahead and adjust the camera. And uh, take some stuff out here. This is uh, quite difficult to open. So we got the... There you go. Got the, the large card, I guess you could say. I have literally no idea where this card came from. Uh, Brett Beatty, it just came flying out. Uh, so that's, that's something. Literally out of nowhere. We have the first, what is it, five packs? Second set of five packs. Then we have the... A uh, one of ten pins, and then we'll open the uh, silver foil pack last. Well, same with the pins and stuff. We'll do the standard packs, and then the well, well I guess yeah, we'll do the standard pack second. Uh, we'll, we'll open this, not open, but it's like a piece of cardboard. So I guess we'll slide it down. What do we got? A rookie on the Reds. Who's that? Like McLean, maybe? Yeah, Matt McLean. All right, not bad, I guess. And a jumbo, jumbo card. Had a uh, pretty bad year, but who cares, you know? It's cool, it's fun. But anyways, this is like a rack of ammo right here. Look at this. I got a accordion. Oh, these are all... Mm. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna cut the video because these are all like taped together. So we will be right back guys so we're not gonna have them here because they're actually all singled out because they are still sticky on the backs but you know it's a new uh it's a new uh, experience anyways it has come to my attention that that last video i posted the audio cut out uh somebody commented that and i uh, appreciate them telling me that that's very disappointing i think it's because i'm assuming the um, my microphone i'm assuming like the actual phone was muted which definitely sucks but hopefully that does not happen again today we have the mic on so it should be okay there we go I'm gonna cruise through these guys so anyways guys how's your life going any new good pulls that you've had let me know in the comments i'm always looking or if you just want to talk about regular life stuff i'm always also looking but yeah um so i was gonna get um the national treasures but um my dad and i have been doing a couple breaks and we've been okay doing all right on the breaks but it's kind of uh, not been looking too hot, the, the cards that have been coming out of it. It's looking like a big loss if you spend that type of money. It's just, it's an expensive box for a, for kind of a bad, uh, some bad hits, you know? Like, it's not like, like you'll get a couple decent prospects, but um, a lot of the times you're losing quite a lot of money. So, you know, we do what we can. 
do what we can. That's a nice Jordan Walker. We'll stick to the uh, lower ends of the few hundred dollars boxes. Because what is it, like almost $600 that box? Last year when we did it, that box was like six something, I believe it was. Which was, you know, pricey. We did lose out on it. We didn't do as bad as we could have. Um, I think we probably lost about $200, which is, you know, don't get me wrong. That's still a lot to lose on a box, but, you know. It's a nice uh, Adley Rushman. And Grayson Rodriguez. Other than that, I'm trying to think about what products are coming out. The triple threads we always do, so whenever that comes out, uh, we'll make a video on that. Me and my dad always open that together. So that's going to be fun. Probably not too much of a commentary on that. As I said, we do uh, open that together. Unless you do get to hear my dad uh, curse a little bit when he sees somebody he doesn't recognize or uh, doesn't even know. Which is kind of funny because... Uh, Oh, there's a nice chrome, uh, chrome Grayson Rodriguez. That's a good card. Put that up in the front. Shed some light. But yeah, that's always, uh, quite funny to listen to him. Oh, some orange thing going on here. Probably nothing, but we'll keep going. Anyways, uh, some baseball news. Uh, not not the Red Sox sucking. We know that already. Um, the day I'm recording, that's a nice Gunnar Henderson. That's a that's a nice one, Gunnar Henderson. The day I'm recording this yesterday. I think it was Wander Franco, Wander Franco, Wander Franco, whatever you want to call him. I think he just got arrested officially, officially handcuffed for his um, crimes. So that's definitely some interesting uh, news going on in the baseball world. I guess, yeah, I guess baseball world, right? But, um, yeah, what a what a fall from grace, you could say. I mean, I, I really feel for the people who invested heavy in his cards. I mean, these guys are just backwards, right? Yeah. Diaz and a... Jesse Winker, number two, 2023, as we are in 2024. But And I just forgot to wish you guys a happy New Year's. That's terrible. Filming this on July, or January, July, that's crazy. January 5th, I'm filming this. So happy New Year's, guys. And, uh, or I, I might have wished that in the last video. There's a chance. There's a chance. Looks like a die cut we got some type of thing going on. Oh, no, it's the, uh, those ace cards. But yeah, what a fall from grace for uh, uh, Wanda Franco. And uh, like I said, feel for the people who went in heavy on his cards. It's crazy enough that his cards on eBay, if you go and check them out, are still going for like... Like his rookie autographs are still like $100 or something like that. Like I'm, I'm curious to know if anyone watching this video, like why, why is someone buying his card right now? Like... He probably is guilty, even though you got to be like, you know, innocent before, innocent until proven guilty, right? But, you know, not, not really, the crime he did is not really a, oh, is this numbered? Oh, it's a nice card to get numbered right there. Out of 2023, we got a, it's not a rookie card, I guess it may be, an Adley Rutschman out of 2023, nice. That's actually a pretty nice hit right there. We'll call it a hit for the sake of the box. And then uh, Gabriel Moreno and Matt Olson. I can't wait for baseball season though, guys. I mean, it's it's been a while. You know, I want to watch some baseball. I want to. Yeah, I was gonna say um, bet, but uh, that's not a good thing to say. But I want to wager. Baseball. Baseball is always fun. It's good to do like fantasy. I mean, that's that's what I do. Put down some money with your friends and have a good uh good time on a uh on a fantasy league because that's always fun. So it looks like we got another numbered card right here. RJ or PJ Higgins. I'm so sorry I don't know who uh PJ Higgins is. 
He's been fighting since 2015. Now that's what it looks like. Out of 499, PJ uh, Higgins. Put him up there next to Grayson Rodriguez. All right, so now now down to the, uh, the new stuff, fun stuff. Well, I mean, that was fun. What am I kidding? But um, I don't even know what the pins look like. To be quite honest with you, this looks like a condom wrapper. A little bit. But, um... Yeah, let's open it up. Let's see what's going on. Hmm. How we open up? Come on. All right. We're going to we're going to cut the video. We'll be right back. I'm just just got to look a little more, guys. I know I uh Yeah, I don't even know. No excuse. This thing like literally opens up. All right. So here we go. Not really sure who the options are for the pins, but we'll check it out. It looks like we got a Fernando Tatis, so pretty good. Uh, oh, almost dropped him. It's kind of small. Pretty good uh, player to get. Obviously, I would assume there's no numberings on these. Would be kind of cool if they had numberings, but yeah, we'll put them up there. Nice Fernando Tatis. So here we go with the five silver pattern foil board base cards. Base cards yeah. I don't know if you can get these autographed, so... It is it's new. It's it's just new to me, so we'll see. So we got a Brenton Doyle. That's a nice one. A uh, Trout Julio mix. Jason Hayward. Matthew Batten. And a Clayton Kershaw. So nothing good besides the... <laughs> I said that so negatively. Nothing good. Uh, it's fun though. You do it for the fun of it, but, um, yeah, nothing too good is what I meant to say, but, uh, yeah, no, we had fun opening it up and it was definitely something new. So that was cool. I, what am I kidding? The Adley Rutschman's actually a pretty good card, but yeah, this was definitely something new and, uh, I enjoyed opening it up and I definitely recommend, uh, if you haven't opened this up, just check it out. Uh, it's just new. So it feels cool to open up. Uh, it's nothing crazy. But uh, yeah, I, I would I would open this up again. I had a fun time. But uh, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, I'm happy to be posting again. Um, I've been trying to take my weekends and uh, post on the weekends. I'm trying to balance out my time schedule. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be getting some videos out there for you guys. I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.